What's good, CTAE and STEAM teams? Thank you for this opportunity to talk to you as a professional and as an educator and as a friend in your community. My name is C. Will. I'm a crypto educator and founder of Passive Income Network, which is an educational platform that focuses on financial literacy, cryptocurrency, and online business. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my background. So I'm a Portland, Oregon native, born and raised, and I spent a lot of time throughout the West Coast growing up. My background mostly consists of being in the educational industry and media. So with education, um, my brother and I used to run a program called Raising the Level for several years where we taught youth professional development and personal development and how to navigate in this society out here dealing with all kind of cultural aspects, some type of traumas, and then the lack of economic empowerment. So we would bring that there to them. So in Portland, that was a big part of my life was working in schools and educating. And I slowly transitioned into digital media where I began to work in the film industry on different uh, camera crews and departments. I've also worked for uh, many companies doing digital media work, um, filming, editing, photography, and things of that nature. So what that has led me to Passive Income Network, which is my, you know, my baby right now that I'm building. Uh, again, it's an educational platform. It is a YouTube channel, and it is my overall brand. I use uh, Passive Income Network to teach about cryptocurrency. That's a big focus. It's crypto education, teaching people the basics of what cryptocurrency is, educating them about blockchain, Web3. I host different interviews with people from all around the world that I met. Uh, they hop onto my channel and my show, and then they share information about their startups, projects that they're building. I gather that information and I bring it back to the, my audience so that way we can leverage it for uh, ourselves and our economic empowerment. All right. Um, another big area of focus for me is in art, which is, uh, for me, rap music. I've been rapping and writing bars for several years, and then I found that my art is a great way for me to express myself, but also at the same time, I use my music to document my journey and the things that I'm doing, like when if I'm traveling, I like to write music about it. If I'm uh, working on projects, I'll write a song to help kind of express it. And then if everything works out right, I turn that into digital art that I could sell. And that's, uh, we'll talk more about that in a second. And then again, that third piece that I mainly deal with is the media. I'm talking about filming, educating, uh, being a producer where I organize um, the talent on the screen, the camera work behind the screen, um, the whole conversation that we have, and then how to distribute to what platforms and different ways we can market the content that we're creating. It's a big focus. All right, well, let's get down to it. What y'all really want to hear, y'all want to talk about Web3. So let's talk about Web3 and what it means. All right. So to talk about Web3, we have to go back to the very beginning, which is Web1. And this is in the 1990s, early 2000s. Web1 is essentially the first version of the Internet where you can have websites um, and emails, essentially information based. Then we transitioned into Web2, which was the dawn of social media where anyone, anywhere, pretty much can log into MySpace, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and whatnot, and then communicate with people. We have a mass adoption, right? A lot of people using the Internet. And on Web2, the only thing that you can essentially own is a domain name for launching a website. Otherwise, you can do e-commerce e and whatnot. But here we are now. We have transitioned into my favorite part of the internet, Web3, which is blockchain, blockchain technology, which essentially is a digital ledger system. It tracks, uh, we'll say, assets and transactions. And a big part of Web3 is cryptocurrency, which is that cryptographic money, right? Cryptographic money built on the blockchain technology, which allow us to have NFTs, non-fungible tokens, 
or otherwise digital collectibles. So a lot of opportunities there, a lot of things happening that is very important. So again, what does it all mean? Web3 means that we have a open source technology that allows anyone to build, right? It's permissionless. So if you have an idea, you can make it happen basically, especially if you're a developer or a web designer, it's a lot easier as a a content creator and whatnot. But there's a lot of opportunities there and it automatically connects us with a global economy and a global market. I've been blessed to go out to Iceland uh, recently in Reykjavik where I was hosting a NFT workshop. So I teach people the basics of NFTs And I'm talking about in a foreign country, being from Portland, flying out to Iceland, and giving them that understanding was amazing, very accepting people. Um, Next week, I'll be flying out to the United Emirates in Dubai, a very uh, beautiful place and well-developed. I'll be going there to do media coverage, interviewing uh, different startup founders, uh, creating content so that way my audience in America and everywhere else around the world that they can tap in to what's happening in Dubai at a cryptocurrency conference that I'm at called Algorand uh, Decipher 22. So what I'm getting at is that there's a lot of opportunities and there's a global market and people want to hear from you globally and not just always in America. So again, let's talk about more of the opportunities. What I see in Web3 is that there's a ways for us to express ourselves. So we talk about expression. Again, I create music, so I take a nice song that I've created and then I put art on top of it or within it and I embed it into the blockchain. I mint an NFT on the blockchain and then I can sell that to people. And it's a, it's a new opportunity that we didn't have. Traditionally, we put music on, let's say, Spotify, and then we pay Spotify, and then we can listen to the music and support our favorite artists and our friends. But with this new technology, we can actually own that song and have more utility with that song and allows us to build a community. Right? And that leads us to that second part. It goes expression for me is a great, good uh, opportunity. And then community. Community building is huge because you can have communities of collectors, communities of artists, content creators, all of that. We can use metaverse, uh, AR, VR. I know y'all are working with all of that here with the Steam Teams, CTAE, metaverse, uh, blender, coding. There's so much that you can do and that helps you express yourself and build a community. And then to that final piece of the opportunities is that we have business. You can build a business. So what I chose to do was build Passive Income Network up. Again, it's a YouTube channel. I have developed a course and more courses and educational materials along the way that allows me to sell educational information and also provide value to my audience to provide value to the rest of the world that um, that's tapping in with me. So that's what I see as a great opportunity is all of that there is so much to learn and i know y'all doing a great job like we say with the steam teams so let's talk about how would you enter this space for me i entered this space by creating youtube videos so i was like okay what's cryptocurrency what is blockchain what is web3 first let me get educated so i would suggest that you get educated you can always go to passive income network on youtube watch uh, tutorial videos, interviews, and all of those type of videos that will get your mindset right and get you an understanding. Then I would go to different websites like Algorand.com, Algorand Foundation, uh, different um, Ethereum.org. I would look up these companies or these blockchain foundations and read read their uh, business plans, read their white papers. I would just get a much, as much information as possible And then I would marry that information with my skill sets. And that's what I did. My skill sets are based in media. It's speaking. It is uh, communication. It's content creation. So that's what I would do. I would find what I'm into. 
I would get educated, and then I would marry those together to create something. And then there's an opportunity, again, to tap into a global market where you could make some money, but even more than that, you can create a community and have connections everywhere. So now I have friends all around the world. Um, so when I do go travel or I go to a conference with purpose, I go somewhere to engage uh, in my business activities. I have people I can call. I have people I can partner with. And that is the beauty of this new technology. So again, uh, my advice would be to educate yourself and then build something and then have patience. Have patience and have the ability to to just be happy with yourself and to be happy about what you are building and that will help your project or whatever that you're making go longer and have more people interested. So again, uh, my name is C. Will, Portland, Oregon native, blockchain specialist, crypto educator, and I am an artist, founder of Passive Income Network. I just want to say thank you guys, CTAE, STEAM teams, everyone out there. I wish you the best and good luck on your journey. To web three. Peace, y'all. Passive income, passive income. Gold in my dental. Thank God for my mental. Investor fundamentals told my girl it was simple. We